I think the name is Jouairia from France. Assalamu alaikum, Sheikh. Alaikum salam. Is the name correct? Yes, yeah, it's correct. Yes, what so can I do Sheikh, for you? Uh, I have an, an issue. A uh, few months ago, I, I used to be very keen regarding my deen. I have started learning deeply about Islamic science, memorizing the Quran, learning Arabic. I used to practice everything I listened from the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and from Allah as well. And at school, I'm an A student. Now I've lost interest in school and in my deen. I practice, but not like before. I easily sin knowing that it is a sin. My heart has hardened. I feel like I'm physically in this world, but spiritually I'm not. I'm always stressed. I have started also having anger issues. I feel like I'm in a bulb, but I cannot get out from it. I try my level best to get out from that issue, but I cannot. I sleep enough, but I, I'm having headache. If I start uh, reading uh, something regarding Islamic science and I leave it, it's very hard for me now. So I don't know what's my problem or what's wrong with me, Sheikh. Okay, first that of all, Joeria, I cannot answer you um, before getting more and more information about your lifestyle, what has changed, what came to you. Maybe you've picked up bad company and friends, maybe you've changed your environment, maybe you've shifted your home, maybe you went to a new school. This requires give and take, which we usually do in a counseling session, but this is not the time. Nevertheless, a lot of the symptoms that you've mentioned fits like a glove with an evil eye. So many A students, so many people who are enthusiastic towards da'wah and uh, learning the deen and practicing, all of a sudden come to a halt. And this is due to an evil eye. They come to me and I tell them simply do ruqya. And in five days, hopefully, maybe less, maybe a little bit more, if you notice that there is tremendous significant improvement, then Alhamdulillah, the diagnosis was right. So how to do Ruqya? Bring a, like 10 or 20 bottles of water, take the cap off, put them in front of you, recite the Fatiha three times. غير المغضوب عليهم الضالين Two, three, same thing. Ayat al-Kursi, three times blowing after each time. Two verses, the last two verses of, uh, of Surah Al-Baqarah, آمن الرسول بما أنزل إليه من ربه والمؤمنون Blow, another set, blow, another set, blow. And then the last three, قل قل هو الله أحد قل أعوذ برب الفلق قل أعوذ برب الناس Blow, repeat the set, blow, repeat the set, and blow for the third time. Put the cap back again. And for the rest of the time of your day or week or month or whatever, only drink water from these bottles until they're finished. Then repeat the process again on another 10 or 20 bottles. Meaning drink in the morning, in the noon, afternoon, in the evening, at night. When you go to school, put two in your backpack. When you go to office, put three, two or three on your desk, next to your bed, only drink water from that. Yes, you can drink soft drinks or, 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 or tea or coffee or whatever, no problem in that. But when you drink water, drink only from the Sruqya water. I guarantee you, with the grace of Allah, that in three to five days, you will feel tremendous shift in your behavior and character. This emphasizes and authenticates the fact that you have an evil eye. Inshallah, in two, three weeks, it will be all gone down the drain. Don't stop Ruqya water until you're totally recovered, even if it takes a month or two. But you will feel a huge relief and difference with the grace of Allah Azza wa Jal.